Hello listeners, this is Jennifer Caldero de Souza and I've been writing poetry from uh, 1994 to and I continue writing. It's my favorite hobby and I would like to read some to you. Hope you do enjoy them. The first one is titled Rise and Shine. So this is my poetry work. Rise and Shine. Awaken your slumbered spirits. R raise up to face the reality. It's tough, you see, but in that lies your duty and responsibility. You have had your time daydreaming. Time's up now. Give in. Do what you can do best to attain your end. Revolt against prejudice and equality, if any. You're grown up now, can't you see? Wait not for a fairy to cast magical spell in your life story. Whatever and wherever lie your boundary, let it be first surrounded by peace and harmony. And then let your emanating smile beat a contagious spell on those who forever frown in cruelty. In thy hands, your birth underlines a myriad of dangerous outcomes, silly, unusually brave, who brings forth this birth. So ostracize becomes, colossal energy is warped, undoing the whole purpose. However little respect, crushed under a mount of shame. Your mentality is colored, looking at things own way. So cries and loses its echo, wanting to bloom but crush forever. These men who seek pleasure, females are brightly delivered. The whole structure of society, we, re we realize woman lies, lays the creation. In your hands of vast choices, the likes of Ashanti, Nick and Karat, Examples of state of society. Never do they see the light of piety, forever frowned upon like droplets of acid rain, harmful in return. Lord, your skies behold every one, let their souls cry out in unison. Never too late, life's glory, its beauty and charm, dulled by the monotonous regularity. Constantly ticked by woes and cares, competitions in every sphere. Where have the sunny days gone? Find things that make living but a pleasure. Learning to cope with tensions, there lies the real treasure. It takes a little effort to accept wise among virtues, see goodness in everything and anything, gestures of gratitude, friendship, love and respect. The soul basks in immense glory. Taken different roads, the aim is but the same. Seeking the very best, even the ultimate good. On a warm summer's morn, the dew drops on the blades of grass. Spare a little time in personal thinking. Put your life on the right track and you know it's never too late. New Dreams Dreams touched reality. The magic was woven, hovered around the futility, the embittered soul lay torn, yearning the dew drops on the parched mind to fall. The weary traveler in the desert of life, seeking the oasis, sweet balm to, to a one wounded soul, mercifully searching an ideal on which to follow on further. The paradise that was yours alone to share seems to falter you everywhere. Never keep but try to achieve, if not, if not all but a few. That essence deep within will always call upon you, however hidden disappointments. Never let them be like swords that at times may tear us apart. To find solace in mind, let each be to other, ever flowing inspirations and new dreams, let them overwhelm to be realized together as in the union we share. Unconditional love. You are the sunbeam in the vast canvas of my life. You highlight the strokes that sometimes I try to hide, bringing to the fore the warmer side. At times you shatter the whole picture as the canvas fears to come to life and complete under your nimble light. You rise through the crevices that I callously leave open, open, 
and foolishly bask in your warmth, knowing well the walls of heart. Curiously smoothly you crawled in the oyster for a pearl, and you're madly, full-fledgedly, you are the lord and master of my existence. Penetrating with no fear or calm, qualms, so innocently, extremely make, never imposing you has bestowing your abundant love on me. Let it be. There are ripples in my sea, stirring waves of unknown emotions. It sources you. The buds on my branches are blooming. The wings that caress them, it sources you. There are new tunes that I'm humming. The new chords that are strung, it sources you. In my waves before there arises a violent storm. The flowers before they wilt and fall. And before my tunes are stopped, let your shores welcome me and my fragrance, joy, color and music fill your every pore. Allow that one to be me. Where do we? Evolving, transitions, static, constantly undergoing. Never can stop growing. Who can satisfy an ever searching soul? Can there be a space filling and an ever filling mind? In what are those solutions found and in what are they trying to satisfy themselves? Is there something that moves them? That there is a constant search and where it is it met with? Is it the meeting of minds, reflectioning eyes and the adjusting self that finds true expansion in oneself, in life? After all, somewhere the search has to find its satisfying object. Meeting oneself, when the world embraces joy, happiness feel collectively, a sense of light existence mingling with others of hearty nature, a different atmosphere, pleasant, exciting, thoughts at bay, not binding down for one's oblivious of whom one is. The place that one lie under the sweet slumber, windows of self wide open, the canvas that seemed unstroked is but tainted with variety of colors. At once appears flung across as if on an innocent hall, indeed a murderous sight to see, that slumber needs who, the self alone to starve, stark, naked, frightful, doesn't seem to be a part, but then the self there has to meet thee. Renewal. Efforts are not blessed. Do not lose the balance. There is at a streak a flame that ignites. It's a sign of change. Slowly but surely it will strike. There is nothing impossible to a passionate seeker. He that needs sees no need to alter, probably is unaffected by the imperfection. Time is dealing rather slowly. When the need, new you walked towards me, needed no words of thankfulness, aiming for higher goals, in life a constant process, emitted by meeting someone refiner, a war of renewal gets at you. Simple but great lives. Unaware of their work, heroism in the common place of life, required a great soul to fill a narrow place and to fit it well, done with maximum possibility, given minimum possibility. Not stars, but ever bright lamps, works in plenty finished, never by chance reveal the pain, always like a torch of flame, an innocent simple smile carry. Mine never works out hurtful schemes, bear witness to a number of upheavals. A strong character built through years, maybe at times fall, at the flaws can never be overlooked, as life slipped in harmony with the Creator. Sometimes despised, trampled upon, worthless slot put in that slot. Every life has immense value. Don't ever muddle the mind under confusing pressure. May not appear in the history of posterity, were instrumental in new epochs in life, 
by indispensable acquaintances. Could you tell me which of the poems is your favorite poem? The one that you're most attached to? Uh, I would like to hear it from you if you would like me to read. Well, what do you, which of the poems are, do you feel like you're, you have the most, uh, you feel closest to? Which of them you feel that you, that you have the most personal um, attachment to? Rise and Shine. Rise and Shine? Yeah. Why? Um, because it's just a so simple poem, anybody can uh, grasp it. You don't need uh, like, uh, uh, like to read Shakespeare. Is uh, highly like the English is so, you know, he uses very uh, English that is uh, 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 like all the English forms, and this is just plain English. That it, once you read it, the title itself is just so simple, and that's why I like it. Okay, so when you when you wrote these poems, yeah. did you write them all at the same type of like how long did it take you to write from the first poem to the last poem? Uh, yeah, I wrote them, but then I edited them, so the, there was a time span between the poems. And uh, do you, was it, are these new poems or poems from a few years ago? Yeah, these are quite, a, uh, these were written quite some time back. Oh, like how far back? Uh, maybe in the uh, 90s, 1990s. Oh, really? Yeah. So that's a long time ago. Yeah. And um, so which, the, the, which of the poems is the most, is the newest one? Uh, by the title, you mean? Yes, uh, which of them is the last written, one? Uh, lately I, am, I have written one uh, down the line. Was that one of the ones you read? No, it's not on this. Uh, okay, the, from the ones that you read today, yeah. which of them was the most like current? current. Yes, uh, I think one that is still running is maybe the Let It Be one. Mm -hmm. It's still in running. Like uh, I still uh, like to post it or read it anyway. Oh, and what year did you write that? Uh, that must be in ninety-seven. Yeah, ninety-six. Oh my God! So a lot. These poems are actually more than 10 years ago. Yeah, they're quite old. Wow. And um, so what inspires you to write? Uh, the main thing is I like to read. Uh, uh, so I've read a lot of poems. Since I studied English, I have been, I've read a lot of books. And uh, that inspires me to write. So I feel that when a person reads, he gets a lot of uh, in, he gets inspired and uh, he gets a lot of pleasure too and I think it's good to share and that's the reason I write. So, okay, so uh, do you have any favorite poets or poetesses like which uh, here, you name? Yeah, I do. I have uh, not uh, read a lot but I, do, I have read the title and I really liked it of Margaret Atwood. Oh. The open window or open door the title. Yes, Margaret Atwood, she's Canadian. Yeah, and she's, lo I was trying to go through her website, but she's located at the uh, University of Toronto, and it's quite difficult to get in touch with her. Oh, yeah. okay. And uh, any other poets? And mostly because I, she combines nature with uh, uh, the urban life, so that's what one aspect of her that I like. Okay. Yeah. So you like, uh, well, any other poets that you want to name? Uh, not right now, though. <laughs> okay, and... Uh, Since I studied English, uh, that means you can uh, say that I have gone through almost all the well-known poets, like Milton and Shakespeare, all the English and uh, all our poets, yeah. Okay, so you studied English poetry specifically? Uh, no, it was literature. But oh, just lit yeah, English literature. No, but it was, uh, poetry was one of the subjects. Yeah. And um, so from, after you started reading these poets, you began to write uh, because you were inspired by them? Is that what you were saying? Uh, I am inspired by them, but I, I have the love for writing, so I do write. Uh, I'm inspired by their works, but this is totally me. This is what I like to do. Okay, uh, so as a hobby. 
Oh, okay. And um, do you um, share the poems with your family or friends or public? Yeah, yeah. I, I share my poems, and uh, I get to, I like re I like reviews. So, uh, in fact, I tell them how do you like the poems, and uh, I like to I like to see what they like to say about that. <laughs> that oh. is like yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you're open. Although I'm not, uh, uh, I have um, not to my friends, not much, but my family, yeah. and uh, some poems which uh, people have read. I hope they liked. <laughs> Send me their reviews. Okay, so um, yeah, actually, re reviews are useful because sometimes you can see the effect of the poem on another person, yeah. and uh, if you get a critic. They can actually give you really uh, good advice that's you know that's uh, clear-minded because they don't know you. Have you ever tried getting a professional critic or re you know a journalist to read yeah, your yeah. poems? Yeah, yeah. And how did that turn out? Yeah, they like my work. Yes. Yeah, and I'm always like, uh, now what should I do? How should I improve? Because there are different types of writing, right? Stanza, verses, and since I know how they appear, I can easily write them, but I have not taken out time. There were some poems that I used the English uh, formats. Yeah? Oh, which formats? And like you verses like? and stanzas and those formats. But uh, since I'm just a free writer, like I just write, but I see that there is a beginning to it and the middle so there is a, it's not just like you know they say oh what's your format of writing okay yeah. um what about like um when you, you know how language there's a written part to it and the verbal the oral yeah. which do you prefer like do you prefer just writing or do you like reading your poems too? i think that there are steps to it right and uh, there are some people who prefer uh, they read and uh, they get it. Some they like to listen. They are like oh, they are auditor audit. Uh, what do you say? The audible. They are more like they catch audibly. Yeah. So I think it's uh, uh, like whichever way like I can do, uh, do whatever I can do to my uh, uh, poems and as well as to my. Uh, fans or readers or whatever, then it's uh, it's good enough for me. Okay, have you ever asked someone else to read your poems aloud? Uh, my poems, I would love to give uh, to someone to read. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, what about uh, the subjects? Which what do you like writing about? Topics, the subjects. You know what? Do you like writing about nature? Your personal life. I see. It. Sometimes poem uh, poets write about, you know, like they have favorite themes or subjects, and sometimes they write mainly about their life. And I just wondered what you like doing. I like to share. Uh, so if I have something uh, fun to share, or something interesting happening to me, or something interesting that I see in my view, that I put in my poems, and I and I. Surely hope that they come across that way. Okay, so you 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 write about personal. Your life is you're influenced by your own life. Your writing, your professional writing. Yeah. No, the thing is, I like to share. So when I write, my main aim is sharing what I have, uh, like you know, through the poems. So if other person gets it well enough, it's good enough for me. Like it may be on life or. What a family or just uh, any other topic. So if a person reads and says, "Oh, I got it," uh, then that's the deal. <laughs> okay. So, um, do you uh, publish? Have you published or printed out any of your books? Uh, I mean, have you had any published uh, poems in a, a magazine or a book? Uh, yeah, and I'm uh, looking forward to doing more of that. Yeah. Okay. So you're ready to share with the public. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I'm taking steps towards it. Oh, that's great. So, um, where do you want to go from here with your poetry? How far do you want to go? Since it's my hobby, 
and it's one of my favorite hobbies i can say uh, wherever uh, uh, wherever the pinnacle takes me i, I guess so you want to carry it as far as you can yeah yeah, because some, some po poets win awards. Yeah. You know, Trillium Foundation, I think they award poets. Yeah, yeah. But they're so, like, uh, I used to, when I came to Canada, I had, and I just went through my files, I said, oh, I didn't even know what was, uh, like, what uh, things were available to writers, right? And, uh, and I had taken down, when I went through my files, I had taken down all this arts council and... Uh, and go to see now the sponsors are not even in the, I, I tried to call them, I said I'll just try, after uh, go to see the sponsors, uh, the phones are changed, the offices are changed, so when I came here in, uh, when it was 1997, and uh, now in 2008 I checked those addresses, they are not, uh, like they have gone to the main offices I think. Okay, so you moved from where, which country? Uh, I'm from India, Goa. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so um, hopefully that you will like uh, you know reading your poems for the public, and that you will take it as far as you can yeah. take it, and uh, maybe you'll even win a grant or an award somewhere. Yeah, I would love that because that's like uh, what I'm trying. Uh, it's like sharing, right? And uh, there, are, there are various schemes for the writers, and I think we should, uh, we should make the best use of them. Okay, so thank you a lot, Jennifer D'Souza, and I hope that, uh, that you will be a success as a poetess. Yeah, and I wish you the same in your project. <laughs> All success. right, thank you. Yeah, thanks.